Needing positivity all around you Many life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds And try to tear you down Why they Capricorn! Honey! <laughs> What's popping? Did you miss me? Because I miss y'all asses. Listen, honey, this will be your intuitive message for the month of February, okay? This ain't finna resonate with every goddamn Capricorn. You guys take what does, leave the fucking rest, alright? But here it is, alright? Also, y'all know I'm a little, con little conscious about my nails because I, I love my nails, okay? Today, this one broke, all right? So for those of you who have an issue with my motherfucking nail that's breaking before y'all say anything, <laughs> the irony of it being this finger is very significant. This may resonate with some of you all, okay? Um, also, hey, this is your first time on my channel? <laughs> I'm Mocha. Hey, hey. Also, this is your time. First time you on my channel, look out. I cuss, all right? May cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depend on what the hell, you know, I comes up in this reading because I usually would say what the cards say, but this reading is going to be a little different. We are not using tarot cards. I have not completely just like, no, Mocha has not thrown the tarot cards away. No, um, I definitely wanted to connect with you guys on a conscious and a, a, a more so a level of connectivity, all right? Um, I did want to do just strictly intuitive messages for the month of February. It's some weird ass energy. I got a whole community post about it. Y'all go check out check out the community post, okay? But there's a lot of weird ass energy, a lot of chaos that not just me, a lot of readers are channeling. Spirit is really, 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 God is really, really giving the direction for his divine ones to kind of go in a we we getting a different direction. We getting you know exit stage fucking left. You know you don't gotta go the way that is right or considered right to everybody else. Um, it's really just a time of you know the real fucking standing up and the motherfucking fake just pretty much being seen for what the fuck it is. Okay. Um, and as I said, this message is not gonna resonate with every Capricorn. It's gonna resonate with who it needs to resonate with. You guys. If the motherfucker shoe don't fit, your ass gonna fall. Don't try to put that motherfucker on, okay? To the uh, also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I welcome to the family. All right, we're a little dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight and fuss. However, we leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss. We share. We grow. We love. We enlighten. Posy vibes only. All right. If you need a personal reading, that information will be found within the description box um, below. Y'all, bitch, got techie. I don't copy and paste that shit for nothing. That's techie techie for me. Okay. Go check it the fuck out. Also, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it because there are so many messages that I'm getting for you guys just off the rip. All right. So how this is gonna work? I'm going to um, give you just a few intuitive messages that I did channel. Um, I'm also going to. Um, share the intuitive messages that I actually wrote down for you all during the meditative session okay I'm going to pull a crystal oracle oh a crystal oracle I'm sorry a crystal wisdom healing oracle card all right for well, the crystal that will be significant and at the end of my channelings I'm going to pull an angel message for you all okay um I did get for you all the signs that will be of significance for the month of February okay I got we got Virgo, Aries, Gemini, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, and Pisces. Okay, um, this will may this may be their sun, their moon, their rising. This may also be resonant within you have those placements within your own chart but this is going to resonate for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising Venus the cross watchers as well as the North Node in Capricorn all right so off the rip what I got for you all Capricorn I got a lot of psychological warfare okay this could have to do with how you like how your subconscious minds how your subconscious mind receives information or receives how can I put it how your subconscious mind receives information from others or some type of like it feels like okay it feels like an energy again where it's you against you okay 
And I feel like a lower vibrational aspect of yourself versus a higher vibrational aspect of yourself. Or it feels a lot of it feels a lot like the soft node or your the soft node aspect of yourself is pulling you back. Okay. Um, I also picked up on the energy of launching something. Okay. So some of you guys could be launching or starting a new business. There could also be a thirst for knowledge at this time. For some of you all, this has to do with personality disorders. I am picking up on a lot of um a lot of studies or some type of differentiation as it pertains to personality disorders or behaviors, okay, or signs of this behavior. I am picking up on um, sociopaths, narcissism, psychopaths, okay, and understanding the difference between the understand the difference between the different personality disorders. I am also hearing psychosomatic, okay. So some of you guys could be researching different different forms of mental illness as well as the foundations as it pertains to generational cycles okay big emphasis on generational and breaking generational curses is what I'm hearing but generational cycles especially as it pertains to raising children okay I am picking up on some type of connection that you may have to someone this could even be um, this could even be like your partnership but a lot of interference from a parental figure okay this could be someone's mother or father but I'm definitely picking up on the need for you all to express yourself a lot okay and I'm also picking up on some type of trauma around silencing maybe some of you all was not raised to be able to express your opinion or maybe you grew up in a household where things were swept up under the rug but I feel like it's being it's causing a bit of chaos as it pertains to communicating um, communicating your feelings in a relationship with another person or communicating effectively okay I am picking up on a lot of pessimistic ass uh, a, a lot of pessimistic ass energy as it pertains to the people around you okay I am picking up on some of you guys could be unplugging from social media in the month of February for some of you all there's a need for you to take some type of social media break especially for my empaths because I am picking up on the energy of you guys being a psychic sponge and actually holding on to a lot of low vib low vibrational things and you may not see that this is being um, acted out or this is being exerted outwardly you know from from your outside of your damn energy to other people but I am picking up on the energy of a reality check for the month of February for some of you all this has to do with you acknowledging certain things or certain shadow aspects within yourself because I'm picking up on the energy where you guys are dealing with someone this could be a friendship group this could be family this could also be a relationship it feels like a relationship more so where you're mirroring another person and I feel like there's a lack of accountability or, or, or people taking accountability in the relationship on both ends okay so no one's more no one no one's more right than the other one I feel like there's some type of realization around trauma bonding that you're having right now you're needing to make a major decision okay and speaking of major decisions for some of you all if you were trying to rush some of y'all okay so it's some of you guys I, I pick up on dragging your own damn feet as it pertains to your purpose, you're dragging your feet because you could find every pessimistic reason as to why things are not working for you versus stepping outside of the box and looking at it from more so a okay, from more so of a multi-dimensional space is what I'm picking up for some of you all. For some of you all, this has to do with your psych, your subconscious programming or your or some type of like psychological imbalance within the subconscious how you receive things how you interpret things how you perceive things for some of you all this has to do with your life purpose as far as being a spiritual teacher but also awakening the perception of other people okay um I am picking up on some of you all I am picking up on the energy of or the opportunity to forgive a father figure this could be a child's father this could be the father of um this could be your father I'm also picking up on some type of illness as it pertains to a matriarch. This could be your mother. This could be a child's mother. I am picking up on a big shift having to do with something that's occurring outside of you, but it's causing you to take a role of leadership. So for some of you all, this could even be um, having to take on someone else's kids while they're ill. Um, I'm also picking up on holistic healers okay so some of you guys could be connecting with different uh forms of holistic healing or um i'm also hearing fasting so some of you guys there's a need to fast i'm also hearing detox okay 
some of you all need to cleanse your space as far as your home, okay? Because I am picking up on the energy of, especially if you was having someone live with you and they just moved out or you had to kick, some of y'all may have to kick somebody the fuck out. I'm hearing a door slam. So for some of you all, this is literally either you kicking somebody ass out, all right? Or take it how it resonates. Somebody's getting a motherfucking boot, okay, for the month of February. Um, I am hearing the disrespect. I'm also hearing infidelity, okay? Um, I'm hearing that Rihanna song. And I hate how much I love you, boy. I can't stand how much I need you. Okay? So for some of you all, some of y'all is dealing with a narcissistic motherfucker. I feel like this is two narcissists loving on each other. And I feel like one of you guys are wanting to step off the damn deep end and heal. And the other person, every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back, me back. Okay? So some of you guys, Capricorn, this could be you. I am hearing Pisces. Okay? Some of you all, this could also be involving a Gemini or a Libra or an Aries. I feel like for some of you all, there's also this element of choosing not not to see the reality of things and I feel like this choosing not to see has to do with learned behavior and complacency as it pertains to people walking all over you some of you all are givers and I feel like some of you all have been comparing how can I put it some of you all have been in this space of being validated or being um, uplifted or praised based on how you give there's a need for you not to judge a book by its cover because i definitely feel like there is some type of divine assistance divine help that's on the way for some of you all and there's a need for you all to be receptive okay big emphasis on stepping into your purpose i feel like whatever is falling away whatever it is that you are uh, that that you are releasing it's definitely working in your it's, it's working out for your highest good even if it's happening in the shittiest way because i am picking up on the energy of inevitable endings and i feel like for some of you all you've been trying to resist this i am also hearing spell work okay the backfiring of spell work this could have to do with a come to me spell God, the angels are really cautioning you all. If you are trying to summon someone with a come to me spell, this person, especially if this is someone who ghosted you or this is someone who, it, it, I feel like there's there's an empty space. So I feel like there's this is someone who did not give you clarity or who were, it's a situation as to where, it's very confusing, but it, it's a situation as to where someone some of y'all were are waiting on closure or clarity from a damn narcissist. This person is feeding off of having you sitting on the edge of your motherfucking seat. It's it's a time for you to take your power back, okay? Because I feel like someone is trying to call somebody who's very fucking broken. You rejection in this case was God's protection. But I feel like for somebody, because the Spirit is having me to channel this, for somebody, you getting ready to go off the motherfucking deep end. You finna open up Pandora's box with that fucking love magic, bringing somebody back to you, and you bringing back somebody who's a, who is, who's coming back abusive as hell. Okay? So, I'm warning you. God is warning you. I'm also picking up on some type of confirmation to what I'm saying in your subconscious space. Some of you all also are needing to Cinnamon, the herb cinnamon, will be very beneficial to some of you all as it pertains to um, your psychic abilities or tuning or sharpening your psychic sight, foresight, your gift of foresight. I'm also hearing visions, premonitions, okay? Big emphasis on the expansion of your spiritual gifts, okay? I feel like for some of you all, hmm, I'm hearing decoding decoding fragment okay the decoding of fragment okay fragments of the soul and decoding past lives decoding big emphasis on decoding and imp interpretation of the subconscious but this feels multi-dimensional okay i feel like this has to do with the decoding of some type of paradigm shift that you experience in past present future some of you all are shamans some of you all are energy healers some of you all also may be getting very heavily into um into like wanting to learn about occult knowledge i feel like for some of you all this could even be hmm. i'm 
hearing herbal divination as well. But some of you all, this something is ending, and it's the catalyst to a major awakening that is thrusting you into your position of purpose. And I feel like for some of you all, this is ending with an with an emotionally manipulative ass, greedy ass narcissistic ass individual someone who lacks accountability someone who projects their own lack of fucking the 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 the, the wound healing as far as traumatic childhood experiences onto other people someone grew up not having a voice so they thrive off of fucking suppressing yours and spirit is saying no more okay so let's jump into this fucking the messages that i wrote down because honey this is a lot all right <clears throat> the songs that i channeled for you guys um uh, in that med in this meditative session was Jonelle Janelle Monet. Um, sometimes a mystery, sometimes I'm free, depending on my mood or my attitude. Sometimes I'm on the road or stay at home. Walking contradiction, and factual or fiction. A little crazy, but I'm sexy and I'm cool. No, no, okay, it's called I like that. All right, um, I'm picking up on. Some of you all are dealing with somebody who is extremely wishy-washy. They may be a mystery to you, okay? I am hearing, for some of you, I'm hearing communication rules the nation. Just ask instead of reading so deeply into things, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of someone setting boundaries as far as their space. Some of you all could be on the receiving end of this or some of you all are setting those boundaries. But I definitely feel the need, the need to tell you guys to protect your org space or the importance of protecting your auric space, okay? <clears throat> Big emphasis on protection. I also got Tyrese. Um, how you gonna act like that? How you gonna up and leave me now? How you gonna act like that? Okay, and I, I, I got all excited hearing that song and shit. And I literally heard ghosting, okay? So somebody um, came in and really played the whole motherfucking laid on the whole damn thick wham bam thank you ma'am that's how they looked at it however they told you something else i am picking up on the energy of some of you guys getting this clarified someone had a hidden family is what i'm hearing all right <clears throat> your intuitive messages that we wrote down premonitions spiritual teacher dark magic synchronicities 555 may be of importance for some of you all. I'm also seeing 12, 12, 10, 10, and 11, 11. <clears throat> also 333. North Node. Past Life Remembrance. Soul Fragments. Revelations. You Knew All Along. Infidelity. Silent Moves. Blackmail. Paternity. Moon Magic. Bitter X, Psychic Protection, Hacking, Inheritance, Heart Chakra, Fashion Designer, Land, Property, Assets, Speak Up, Hidden Motives, Divine Interference, Complacency, Emotionally Manipulative, Cover Your Head, Protect Your Crown. Say less, accountability, strategies, energy vampire, abandonment, do nothing, contractual agreements, car repairs, custody negotiations. With that custody negotiations, I am picking up on that fact that the emotionally manipulative and custody negotiations go together. Somebody don't even give a damn about them kids. Somebody's using the kids as a pawn because they can't accept the fact that you let go their ass and you chose you chose your happiness. Someone only had kids to trap a particular individual, and I'm hearing that you got you 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 pretty much fought you you untied your goddamn self from them damn shackles and someone is butthurt about it i'm also picking up on the energy of checking your kids attendance that may be significant to that custody negotiations some of you guys are going to have to check as far as check the check it check the checker as it pertains to your children okay or someone's doing this to you slumlord subconscious revelations akashic records shaman Ascended masters, okay? So for some of you all, 
I am picking up on the inheritance of your gifts from a previous life. I'm also picking up on the energy as well as a doppelganger. Someone does need for you all to protect your content. Some of y'all could definitely have water in your chart because I picked up on this um, in my Instagram uh, water sign reading for the week. I am picking up on the energy of protecting your content. For some of you all, someone doesn't have any type of creative genius. They don't have any type of any. They lack creativity. They only know how to fucking copy. Okay. This person is. I'm also hearing they want to befriend you. Be careful with reconciling with someone, especially if you're a Capricorn female and this is a fire sign female or an air sign female. Someone is planning to steal your information, especially if you've been trying to launch something. If you've been trying to launch a business and you were like, and you're, I'm, I'm going to say, if you wanted to launch a business and let's say you had a friend that was there with you that was helping you work on this business. Let's say that you and this friend is actually separating and you guys are like going your separate ways. Are you feeling that the energy is kind of switching up with this individual? Spirit is cautioning you to hold your horses, but copyright your brand. Copyright your brand because this individual ain't going separate ways in order to hurt you. They let you sit up and do all the motherfucking work. And this individual plans on stealing your ideas, stealing your brand in the midst of this separation. You've been, you've been receiving a lot of synchronicities around doing this to protect you. Because you come from a long, from from a, from a history where you're, or, or from a lineage where the history within your lineage had to do with people fucking robbing, stealing, especially as it pertains to your craft, your gifts, your assets, and your ancestors is not for it. This individual could have recently undergone some type of hardship. That delay was ancestral interference, so that you can get on your shit because you don't know this person's heart. And for some of you all, I'm hearing long time friend. Like this is somebody who you've been friends with for ten years of more, ten years or more. Y'all, y'all know how it go. It's all good. They support you until you're doing better than them. Then it's a fucking problem. Okay. So let's jump into these. Let's get a crystal message. What crystal will be of assistance for Capricorn for the month of February 2021? What crystal? Can cap whoa can cap is used okay menelite number 40 stability for those of you who are looking to purchase a new home i am hearing approval approval grants do your research as it pertains to interest rates especially if you're a first time home buyer also as it pertains to the length of the contract or the length of how long you have to it's something about the length so if you're renting don't sign no motherfucking contract to rent no motherfucking house for three, four fucking. Somebody's really trying. Somebody thinks because you're young, you're naive. All right. 40. I'm also picking up on elemental magic. Some of you all are magicians. Okay. The wise feminine. Men alike. <clears throat> Men alike has a profound connection with earth. The wise feminine and priestess power. It marks rites of passage through womanhood through womanhood to wisdom. For self-understanding, you are an immortal soul who is an embodiment of the wise feminine. Express this through your body and actions. Go deep into yourself to find your connection to Mother Earth. Sit in her womb of healing. In meditation, you heal your soul. Put aside fear and remember that transitions are necessary prerequisites for growth honor your sacred sexuality mark rites of passage joyfully experience a period of gestation to move would not be beneficial now nurture yourself and bide your time withdraw into your inner world to accept necessary change make your soul whole and find um, and find power allies you know when it is time for rebirth master Okay, I thought thought this thing said masturbation. Hold on, bitch. Maturation is a process of growing wiser. The soul and the heart do not age. The frequency of this stone is earthy and high. It's great for the earth star, base and sacral chakras. Good for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And those with a soul path of expressing 
the divine feminine. Some of you all are creators, okay? I feel like there's this energy again of launching or birthing something, but something cannot go with you. It has to be, it has to fall away. For some of you all, it's a belief system as it pertains to your wealth, what you deserve, how you see money, how you see value, how you see abundance. Also, what are you grateful for? Do you trust pretty much manifestations the foundation of manifestation is not to believe or to hope that your magic is going to work but it's a knowing the i am of things trust me i'm an aries the magician i am it's an embodiment for some of you all you're going through a massive awakening as it pertains to the crown chakra how you perceive how you believe this knowing what you are birthing, why are you rushing? Why are you beating yourself up to rush? Whatever it is that you're trying to lunch, for those of you who had a start date to lunch something by, uh, let's say, the end of February, because I am here in February, latter February, early March, you will not lunch this until mid April. And the reason why is because there's a need for you not to know all the answers. Can, allow God to be God. Can God, have job, can God have God's job back? That's not your worry. This is unnecessary worry when you don't understand that all of the puzzle pieces aren't clear. Some of you all are going at something alone and spirit is trying to send you help. Yet you complaining about how ain't nobody damn helping you. But you're not allowing anybody to help you because you're stuck and wanting to do things your way. Be open to a new way of doing things. Alright. Embrace the new. Things are shifting. Things are changing. Alright. So we're going to close out this reading. Give me an angel message for my cappies. Angel message for my cappies. Need some angel advice. All right. Communication. You guys got air. Okay. Communication. How you communicate. How you speak to yourself. How you believe in yourself. How you invest in yourself. You are safe. Archangel Michael. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and your home. Okay? For some of you all, this also have to do with say it with your motherfucking chest. Some of you all have a life path around expression. You are communicators. You are mediators. For some of you all, I'm also picking up on the energy as well. Some of you all may want to expose some type of corruption as it pertains to um, something, that's, something that's occurring on a global scale that will affect the collective on a massive way i am hearing bankruptcy i'm hearing banks i'm also hearing corporations i'm also hearing fraudulent um fraudulent activity as it pertains to investments i'm hearing forex cryptocurrency for some of you all you're meant to teach this you are accountants stock traders some of you all some some of you all i definitely feel like you putting something out is going to save thousands of people a lot of money Spirit is urging you to speak. You are safe. Ain't, it ain't your job to worry about who fucking coming for you. God is your judge, your jury, your defender, all that. Speak. Brilliant idea. Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea into fruition. For some of you all, you are an artist. Honestly, I want to take the time out to thank this beautiful fucking Capricorn who painted this for me. This is my getaway, okay? She's a Capricorn. Her name is T. Dope as hell. Some of you all are artists. I feel like for some of you all, this has to do with your worth. The things, of, the things that you're going through right now, you're seeing yourself, your worth, the things that you desire in from a new space. And there's a need for you all not to be afraid to take chances, okay? Chances, chances breed champs, all right? You guys got Scorpio. All right, so a Scorpio could be of significance. This could also have to do with infinite, all right? Also, unveiling, the unveiling of things. As far as the shadow aspects, some of you all are meant to bring a different perception as it pertains to magic and the occult. I'm also hearing the illumined ones. I'm not going to say what I heard. All right. Lastly, you guys got counselor, Archangel Azrael. You are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. It's time for you to motherfucking speak. You are a vessel. Spirit is using you. 
for the building of the kingdom, it's time to stand the fuck up. And walk in from a walk in this knowing, walk in this confidence. I am, I have, I will, I know. So it is. It's gonna be so because you said the fuck is gonna be so. You did. Alright. So you guys, this is what I have for you for the month of February. I hope this message resonates with those of you who it was meant to resonate with. I send you guys peace, many blessings, and so much damn abundance that it'll make your motherfucking head spin. Alright? I love you long time.